Well, hello and welcome back to McMullen Park where Real Bedford return home for the first fixture of October as they face Hertfordshire-based Colney Heath FC. The starting lineup seems completely unchanged since London Lions. Lewis Burge is still in that centre-half role that he embraced against them. A cool attacking midfield of Ahmed Stevens and Setchell with Archie Jones still being out injured and Ollie Swain returns to the squad. He's on the bench for today. Whereas Colney Heath in a very cool blue strip today. Line up like this. Sam Doolan starts as captain in midfield with an on-form Sam Denham behind him. George Sippets replaces a missing Billy Owen up top, which may prove detrimental to Colney Heath as a whole without Billy Owen, who is their top scorer. Tom Wood with the captain's armband as he's been donning for the majority of this season. Is Mo Arman now picks up onto it. He's got Eddie Corbett on the right. Who he gives it to. Eddie Corbett strikes. and It's a good deflection from Sam Ajeha. Charlie Smith free kick. And it's come off the thigh of Matt Clifford there. After all is said and done, it's parried away. Watkins. Eddie Corbett who gives it to Josh Setchell. Going inside now, Josh Setchell into the box who shoots and what a move that was. Really impressive from Josh Setchell. Coolly done, Josh Setchell, you tricky legend. Now it's 1-0. Ball that ball. He'll get it now. Swung inside. And it's found its way into the back of the net. It's 2-0. The goalkeeper. Stunned by a uh, fantastic Tom Wood header. And that's his first of the season, Tom Wood. Now it's been switched on over to Matt Clifford, who goes for it, it's deflected and it's three. Well, number three with the strike, and number three is the score. A deflection or two, but it, he won't mind that at all. That's Matt Clifford's first of the season as well, which means today truly is a game of firsts with the ball. And now Jamie Willing, who... Went up to uh, clear that one, is had to come back. Ben Stevens, and he's gone for the near post, opposed to what would have been a good chance on the uh, left side of that goal. Now, uh, Mohamed ball inside. Ben Stevens, a little too soft, and he has another opportunity. Still going, Ben Stevens. Just couldn't quite finish it. Is Setchell now on to Corbett. Put in and finished off by Joey Evans. And now it's four before half time. It's a nice little through ball. Matt Clifford can get on to the end of it. Swung in. Josh Setchell cushions it down. He strikes it in. It's 
found its way into the back of the net. Second time of asking, it's George Setchell again. It's Matt Clifford delivering the ball. And a very similar move from Josh Setchell. Setchell, and that could have been a third for him. Jerry Evans latches onto it and gives it to Mo Ahmed. Tetchell puts on into his right foot and that's his hat trick. Personal achievement for him and his third of the match. Bedford sixth. Charlie Smith. And Stevens has a chance. It's off the post. Jerry Evans can collect the scraps of it. Just in front of it. Given to Sippitz. Goes for it. That of Lewis Burgess. Looks like it's a George Sippitz goal. Not many celebrations on the Colney Heath bench. Not many reasons for there to be. George Sippitz with the goal. Again, clinches. He clinches it. It's his second goal in two games. Here's Charlie Smith. Dinks on over to Tom Hitchcock, who has it and shoots, and it's a goal. And what a goal it is. It's that man, Tom Hitchcock. He loves scoring late on. Just our skip switch town. And he's done it here. Less pressure, of course. Now here's CJ Gordon, puts it inside. It's finally taken by Joey Evans. The ball had stayed in the air for a second or two. Joey Evans with a second. Now it's 8-1. Coney Heath are truly an athlete. Charlie Smith. Got loads of orange shirts around him. Chooses Tom Wood. Snuck in and Class and Gordon with the header. And it's hit the crossbar. Tantalizingly for him. Boone in the cup. That's the full-time whistle. And eight impressive goals here at McMullen Park. A lot of Colney Heath players wondering just what went wrong today.